Chapter 1 The Earth in the Solar System How wonderful it is to watch the sky after sunset. One would first notice one or two bright dots shining in the sky. Soon you would see the number increasing. You cannot count them anymore. The whole sky is filled with tiny shining objects. Some are bright, others dim. It seems as if the sky is studded with diamonds. They all appear to be twinkling. But if you look at them carefully, you will notice that some of them do not twinkle as others do. They simply glow without any flicker just as the moon shines. Along with these bright objects, you may also see the moon on most of the days. It may however appear at different times, in different shapes and at different positions. You can see the full moon only once in about a month's time. It is full moon night or Purnima. A fortnight later, you cannot see it at all. It is a new moon night or Amavasya. On this day, you can watch the night sky best, provided it is a clear night. Do you wonder why can't we see the moon and all those bright tiny objects during daytime? It is because the very bright light of the sun does not allow us to see all these bright objects of the night sky. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are called celestial bodies. Some celestial bodies are very big and hot. They are made up of gases. They have their own heat and light which they emit in large amounts. These celestial bodies are called stars. The sun is a star. Countless twinkling stars in the night sky are similar to the sun. But we do not feel their heat or light and they look so tiny because they are very, very far from us. Let's do. You'll need one torch, one sheet of plain paper, pencil and a needle. Step 1. Place the torch in the center of the paper with its glass front touching the paper. 2. Now draw a circle around the torch. 3. Perforate the paper with the needle within the circled area. 4. Now place the perforated circle part of the paper on the glass front and wrap the paper around the torch with a rubber band. 5. Take care that the switch of the torch is not covered. 6. In a dark room, stand at some distance facing a plain wall. Switch off all other lights. Now flash the torch light on the wall. You will see numerous dots of light on the wall like stars shine in the night. 7. Switch on all the lights in the room. All dots of light will be almost invisible. 8. You may now compare the situation with what happens to the bright objects of the night sky after the sun rises in the morning. You must have noticed that all objects look smaller when seen from a distance. How small an aeroplane looks when it is flying at a great height. While watching the night sky, you may notice various patterns formed by different groups of stars. These are called constellations. Ursa Major or Big Bear 
is one such constellation. One of the most easily recognizable constellation is the Sapta Rishi. Sapta means seven. Rishi, sages. It is a group of seven stars that forms a part of Ursa Major constellation. Ask someone elder in your family or neighborhood to show you more stars, planets, and constellations in the sky. In ancient times, people used to determine directions during the night with the help of stars. The North Star indicates the North direction. It is also called the Pole Star. It always remains in the same position in the sky. You can locate the position of the Pole Star with the help of the Saptarishi. Look at figure you will notice that if an imaginary line is drawn joining the pointer stars and extended further, it will point to the pole star. Planets Some celestial bodies do not have their own heat and light. They are lit by the light of the stars. Such bodies are called planets. The word planet comes from the Greek word planetai, which means wanderers. The earth on which we live is a planet. It gets all its heat and light from the sun, which is our nearest star. If we look at the earth from a great distance, say the moon, it will appear to be shining just as the moon. The moon that we see in the sky is a satellite. It is a companion of our earth and moves round it. Like our earth, there are seven other planets that get heat and light from the sun. Some of them have their moons too. The solar system. The sun, eight planets, satellites and some other celestial bodies known as asteroids and meteoroids form the solar system. We often call it a solar family with the sun at its head. The sun. The sun is in the center of the solar system. It is huge and made up of extremely hot gases. It provides the pulling force that binds the solar system. The sun is the ultimate source of heat and light for the solar system. But that tremendous heat is not felt so much by us because despite being our nearest star, it is far away from us. The sun is about 150 million kilometers away from the earth. Planets there are eight planets in our solar system. In order of their distance from the sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. An easy way to memorize the names of the planets in order of their distance from the sun is my very Efficient mother just served us nuts. All the eight planets of the solar system move around the sun in fixed parts. These parts are elongated. They are called orbits. Mercury is nearest to the sun. It takes only about 88 days to complete one round along its orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin because its size and shape are very much similar to that of the Earth. Till recently, that is August 2006, Pluto was also considered a planet. However, in a meeting of the International Astronomical Union, a decision was taken that Pluto, like other celestial objects, Series 2003, UB 313, discovered in recent past, 
may be called dwarf planets. Interesting fact Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus have rings around them. These are belts of small debris. These rings may be seen from the Earth with the help of powerful telescopes. Do you know? Sol in Roman mythology is the sun god. Solar means related to the sun. The family of the sun is therefore called the solar system. Write down as many words using the word solar on your own as you. Word origin. Many words used in a language may have been taken from some other language. Geography, for example, is an English word. It has its origin in Greek, which relates to the description of the earth. It is made of two Greek words, G, meaning earth, and graphia, meaning writing. Find out more about the earth. Geo, G, plus, logi, logia, geologia is the study of the earth. Geo, G, plus, metri, matria, geometry is the measurement of the earth. Geo, origin, G, plus, Oides means old. Geoid means resembling the shape or form of the earth. Do you know? Humans have always been fascinated gazing at the night sky. Those who study the celestial bodies and their movements are called astronomers. Aryabhata was a famous astronomer of ancient India. He said that the moon and the planets shine due to reflected sunlight. Today, astronomers all over the world are busy exploring the universe. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.